Hello, thank you for watching. If you could subscribe or leave a like or leave a comment, I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you very much for watching. So today, uh, now I'm going to be making two modifications for a Teagle um, concrete cement mixer, whatever you would like to call them, a uh, tip mix then. So um, I'm going to be making a shoot for filling it and uh, also a latch system for the handle as is co common for you have to have um, some string or something to hold it down when so the actual teeth engage and to stop it from tipping itself in. Be making, um, or starting making a uh, shoot here now. It'll fold up out the way and you can fold it down. So when using the um, uh, cement mixer filler then, you don't have to have it um, standing still when you can actually have it turning uh, turning around slowly and tip it into the shoot and it'll go in there without any risk of catching anything in. So um, what's I'm going to do? I'm going to make um, a little tray then. I'll direct it at an angle and I'll direct it in and I'll taper in with the, every which way. Then I'll have to make a frame somehow that'll you know, stop here and then I can fold over to right to front of the way. So that's what's done now and I'm going to be using my um, new, uh, well, the, the bender I made before and so I'll put the um, links to in the description for the filler and the bender and, okay, you know, down below then, okay. So I said there was only small bits of oil tank I'd be doing but I thought I'd try it out on the little tray I was making. So it's tapered um, so it goes wider. And only thing, because I've done a 90, it won't actually bend to 90. You need to go over 90 to get it to hold, so in, uh, this won't actually do it to 90, but um, I didn't get any, anywhere near it anyway. Just uh, I was going to make the side sort of folding like that, so it's a bit wider again, you know. So I wasn't going to do it uh, actually 90, but it's, it was very close anyway. Um, so only thing I had to, um, I clamped it down to a bench and I had to sort of help it along, you know, push down with that as it's pulling on it just to get it to bend down. So, um, but it, it did the job anyway. So we'll uh, take it off now and uh, need to cut the sides then. Yeah, cut that down so it's uh, a bit smaller in front there. Okay. So here it is, um, the tray then. I do make this, well, because I was starting off with a square um, side, each side. <laughs> so I had to um, just uh, bend it, you know, have a bit of waste then. So I'll get this down there, there off. So this will be in the mixer there, say up to there and point there. And this will be outside you dump uh, sand onto. So I think this is, um, it's about six, uh, sorry, four inch, it's four inch here, goes up to about five here, and it'll go back down to three there, and it, um, it's 13 across there, and then it's about, was it 17 or 18 across here, so I'll cut the other side the same, and you know, three there up to five, and then down to four, make it even. So I'm leaving shoot for now, because the linkage will take some head, head scratching to get the geometry just right then. So I have this bracket and it's perfect size, but it isn't wide enough. So what I'm going to do now is turn this uh, flat bar. So I did was spacing, go along like that, you know. So um, when I bend it, it'll match all up. And I've sent a bunch all them, so I'll drill a small hole now. And then I'll try to bend it uh, as it'll distort the holes anyway, but I'll drill out to a bigger size anyway. So I'll uh, get uh, onto that then. So I've been bending it in the vise, you know, just doing a little bit of time, moving on a little bit of time, I show now. But I've got it just nice around here, well up to here then, is it, up to here, from there to there. I need to check now against the mixer if that's uh, enough then. Might have to, I do have some more holes here to go a bit more, but um, it went a bit wrong here with me. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah. So I got that all welded up and uh, extra well, off, got off, off itself to put there is a strength in the middle there, so it'll um, won't bend then. Only thing I couldn't fit this uh, peg then because it um, hit against this now because it cut across the angle there. Ideally I'd uh, used um, a stronger piece of angle but uh, all I had. Only thing I it's a 
sticks out a bit too much for a tab now for that or I could grind away a bit of weld to drill a hole for the um, latch but um, I think I'll leave it at that for now then I finished up and I realized the angle there won't be any good to put the latch because the handle be in awkward place then so I've painted it up and I'm gonna get the handle off the plow and replace the actual old handle with it and put the latch where the handle is then so it'll suit quite good there Thank you for watching and that's it from me for now then.